Hey everybody, I am your host, I Slip, and I'm going to be doing another review for you. Actually, it's it's for me. Let's let's not lie. It's for me, but I I'm happy to share it with you. So um, let me get this guy situated, and then Viola, Age of Extinction. Grimlock, and uh, and it was the Voyager version. I I chose the Voyager version over the the um, I was gonna say the adult version over the leader version for one reason. This looks better in Dino mode. It still got problems, but it looks better in Dino mode than the other one did. The other one looks great in robot mode. This one looks okay in robot mode. So uh, yeah. So there he is. He's got the uh, chompy chompy gimmick. You can if you want to move his head up so he's like roaring, breathing fire, whatever. Um, you can pivot his little horns so you can have him standing up like a dog or put him back so that they're sort of out of the way and he's more T-Rex-ish looking. Um, they did get it right. He's, uh, he's only got two fingers on his forearm as for his little T-Rex arms. Unfortunately, you can see lots of the kibble, the robot, ki uh, not robot, the, the kibble. I think I did this wrong. Hold on a second. No, no, that's the way you're supposed to transform it. That's what the box said. Okay. All right, this is the transformation a la the box. And you can see a lot of robot leg in there, and I don't like that. So what I do is I put this up like so and yeah you can see a little bit of the robot on the bottom but from the side he is more solid he does get a little bit chunky but oh well and oh there we go he looks pretty good oh I don't like his legs and uh, yeah now he does come with a weapon that you can store on his tail you just take it and uh, slide it in this way Right, right, it's this way. Slide it in that way like so, and then stick this back on, and now you've got that ridiculous looking thing. So I, I don't, I just leave it to the side. I'm not really crazy about this weapon anyway. The club thing. That doesn't make any sense, Grimlock always had a sword. So, um... Let's get this back in. So we got that, and you can get an Optimus riding him if you want to, if you got one of the Dark of the Moon um, whatever's you can if you balance it right you can get him riding on a giant Grimlock and that's almost to scale I think so you can do that uh, okay size comparison with the only other movie Grimlock I've got so we'll uh, there's him and there is the other one and you can see he's much smaller it looks pretty good, but yeah. So anyway, Grimlock, robot mode. And I like the way it looks. Oops, that goes back down. I like the way it looks. It looks pretty decent. Um, I still don't like this weapon. Uh, take that off and then just kind of turn it around and undersling it like so. And then it becomes sort of like a... A staff or something I think that looks a little bit better I like that better so there's that and supposedly you can store it somewhere in the back don't know don't care um, so here he is 360 and yes there's half of a robot dinosaur acting as a protruding butt flap oh well not a huge problem I've seen worse um, he has he can look left and right. Can't look well. You can look up a little bit and look very down. Rotates 360 at the arms. Um, these kind of would get in the way of that, but you can. I, you can just turn them up if you want to. Turn them up like this, and you can get more of a rotation with his arms. So it's nice that they move. I'm pretty sure that's due to transformation. Um, I just unpack this. I did unpack this. Dang it! Now his hands, his wrists. No real articulation there unless you unpeg this and then you can rotate it around 
Otherwise, he'll have monkey, not monkey arms, gorilla arms. They won't peg anywhere else, but that doesn't look totally terrible. So, And you can if you decide to use it as some kind of stabbing weapon. So there's that. Let's see. No waist, legs, ro do this. Rotates at the upper thigh, bends at the knee, feet, that. And that's pretty much it for Mr. Age of Extinction Grimlock. Let's get a size comparison with with the flip and change. And there you can see, much smaller. He's a gorgeous size figure. And yeah, not much you can do about that. He is pretty nice. He looks pretty good. Um, let's let's get an idea of how tall. If he transformed in, he actually transformed into robot mode in the movie. How tall he would have to be based on his dino form. So here would be Optimus. Holy crap! He's like huge. He's like Devastator size. Awesome. So we'll see if that happens. Anyway, I do like this figure. I'm glad I bought him. He's unfortunately not like like the other size classes are. Most of them are on sale. He is not on sale. He's still the $25, but I think he is, um, he was worth it. I think he was worth it. He could have been engineered a little bit better, but he could have been done very much worse. And he looks really good. He has great paint apps. The paint applications are pretty good. The only real plain plastic is the lower jaw here and this right here. The rest of, of him is painted. So that's not too bad. Hasbro, not too bad. So, here we go, a close-up on his face sculpt. Come on! And he's got, like, teeth and whatever, and... Grrr, and so did his bigger version. I don't know if I did the... The close-up of the face, the head sculpt. And their gear version stuff. So, um... Here he is with the Voyager, Optimus, and... Let's see. I wish I had these on the table. But Voyager Optimus is actually slightly taller at the head. But I like this figure. Um, he goes great with the Legends figures. <laughs> so um, that's it. I'm I slip, And uh, I'm done. If you like Grimlock, since it's a pretty decent Grimlock, you could do worse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good morning, Cybertron! With your hosts, Kingston333, Adam, Oscar, Max Ross Linden, and for mercy, Holson, it is 99s, T2RX6, Skullface, Rain 9, Iceland Coco Liso, Doctor What, and Blunhole, the Tapeworm of Unicron. <laughs>